hierarchy of the two organizations. The followers of Hassan, Ibn Sabah, were in contact with the Templars and had a similar method of organization. They were in existence before the Templars were formed. The Ishmaelites, the Ishmaelians, or assassins, was the original. And folks, the order of the Templars was the copy. The balance of Western opinion is against this contention more particularly because one feels from wide reading of historians great sympathy is felt for the cruel, cruelly treated and arbitrarily disposed Templars. Thus, Kitely, who made a close study of the order, attacks those who would claim that the Templars were an assassin branch, but when you do research into the <laughs> associations and memberships of Kitely, you'll find that Kitely was himself a Knight Templar. And he said, quote, when nearly 30 years after their institution, the Pope gave them permission to wear a cross on their mantle like the rival Hospitaller Order, no color could present itself so well suited to those who daily and hourly exposed themselves to martyrdom as that of blood, in which there was so much of what was symbolical. With respect to internal organization at will, we apprehend, be always found that this is for the most part of the growth of time and the product of circumstances, and it's always nearly the same where these last are similar, unquote. And you find this kind of rhetoric and semantics all through the writings of those who wish to cover the true origin and the true meaning of Mystery Babylon. The famous question of the 3,000 gold pieces paid by the Syrian branch of the assassins to the Templars is another matter which has of course, never been settled. One opinion holds that this money was given as a tribute to the Christians. The other, that it was a secret allowance from the larger to the smaller organization, which it really was, as the assassins wished to expand their control. And remember, their original goal was to take over the entire world by the systematic infiltration and control of each individual country. Those who think that the assassins were just fanatical Muslims and therefore would not form any alliance with those who to them were infidels should be reminded that to the followers of the old man of the mountain, only he was right. And the Saracens who were fighting the holy war for Allah against the Crusaders were as bad as anyone else who did not accept the assassin doctrine. And it is true today. Quote, if you are not one of us, you are nothing. Unquote. Quote, the ends justify the means, unquote. Quote, the strength of our order exists in the fact that we manifest ourselves under many different names and many different occupations and sometimes even seem to oppose ourselves. But at the highest level, we are of one mind, unquote. And I could go on and on and on, and you all know that I can go on and on and on. For I've studied this for so many years that I eat, drink, and sleep it. Oh, yes. Well, eventually grave charges against the Templars during the Crusades included the allegation that they were fighting for themselves alone. And more than one historical incident bears this out. The Christians had besieged the town of Ascalon in 1153 and were engaged upon burning down the walls with large piles of inflammable materials. Part of the wall fell after a whole night of this burning. The Christian army was about to enter when the master of the temple, Bernard de Tremelia, claimed the right to take the town himself. And this was because the first contingent into a conquered town had the whole spoils. As it happened, the garrison rallied and killed the Templars, closing the breach. There seemed good grounds for believing that the power which they had gained caused the Templars to devote their efforts as much as their own order's welfare as to the cause of the cross, in spite of their tremendous sacrifices for that cause. Having no loyalty to any territorial chief, they obeyed their master alone, and hence no softening political pressure could be put upon them. Well, this might 
well have led to an idea that they were an invisible super state, and that is exactly the fact. But this does show some similarity with the invisible empire of the assassins. If none can deny their bravery, their high-handedness and exclusivity in less than 150 years after their founding gave them the reputation of considering themselves almost a law unto themselves. And now, dear listeners, we get into the meat. The direct connection between the historical events and the events that are happening today. Don't miss even one episode of this series. Good night, and God bless each and every one of you. Sometimes I wonder where I spend my lonely mind, dreaming of a soul. The melody hosts my reverie, and I am once again with you. When our love was new, and each kiss an inspiration, the bell was long ago, and now my Consolation is in the stardust of a song. Beside a garden when stars are bright and you are in my arms, the nightingale seems to tell a story to Oh,